So, did you have a budget before you came to Europe? No. <laughs> Do you regret that decision? Yes, a lot. Study abroad programs provide college students with the amazing opportunity to explore the world, but at what cost does this experience come? At Emerson College's European campus, Castile Well, some students have become victims to empty wallets and dangerously low bank accounts, all brought about by continuous travel. Castle student Emily Wood shares some insight on her own sliding funds. I came to Europe with like enough money that I didn't think I would have to budget to like get buying out of money very quickly into the semester. And I was like, I can't do this. I'm in Europe. So then I was like, I should probably monitor my spending. But how did Woods get into her predicament in the first place? Um, well, I was very careless in booking several of my trips. A lot of times I booked <laughs> um, for the wrong day and I would get to the airport like a day late. Or once I booked for December 1st and I was flying in November. Just like I wasn't like paying attention and their system is different here. So um, I lost a lot of money that way. And once I missed a flight, so I lost a lot of money. And I also, um, I think I shopped a little bit too much. They tell you like, I was told between 2,000 and 4,000, but even 4,000 like might not be enough because you are going to have travel mishaps. So I would say about 5,000 and there's the conversion rate and it goes up all the time. So definitely 5,000. Other students are even worse off than Miss Woods. Students checking their bank accounts may be astonished to discover that they have far less than they initially imagined, leading to constant worry about how to survive the semester. Hilton Dresden, for example, is down to his last dollars. Here's what's up. <laughs> I have $24 total in my whole life. That's including all my savings. That's including everything. How do you feel about that? Very bad. How did that happen? I'll tell you. I came into the castle with about a little under 5000 okay? And I spent it all. <laughs> On what? And that's where that went. I, I don't know, because, like, I wasn't that reckless. Like, I bought a leather jacket. I bought a pair of boots, but each were about 100 euro a piece. These small purchases have certainly added up for Justin, as they have for many of his fellow peers. I'm afraid I got identity theft, but I didn't, because I checked and I didn't. But, like, that's kind of how I'm... How I'm working that out. <laughs> the trick is, if you're gonna go study abroad, you can't buy drinks at bars, really. Just like get a bottle of wine before you go out and drink that, because the, the bar drinks are too expensive. And also, set a budget of like 300 euro, including plane tickets and hostels, I would say. It's like, or maybe 250 euro. You don't have that much to work with. And then stick to that at all costs. Do not go past it. Okay? Some students, however, are faring quite well. Anna Ryden, for example, created a budget and stuck to it, enabling her to have enough money for the entirety of the semester. I just kind of saved up money this summer and like purposely didn't really spend that frivolously until I got to Europe because like I was like, I'm using all of this for you, so like, uh, I didn't want to overspend anywhere because I never have. <laughs> Don't spend the same way you would in the States. I know there are lots of people who came here who were definitely shopaholics, which is definitely not something you can get away with Like, what, when you're in Europe because like, money doesn't just grow on trees here as much as I wish it would. Live poorly. You might not be poor in the US, but like, be a poor person here.